This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 11-12, problem number 23. The length of one of the sides of a rectangular garden is enlarged by 20%, and the length of the other side is enlarged by 50%, so that it has become a square garden as shown in the picture. If the shaded area between the two diagonals is 30 meters squared, what was the area of the original rectangular garden? A. 60 meters squared b. 65 meters squared, c. 70 meters squared, d. 75 meters squared, or e. 80 meters squared. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. So as you can see, I've labeled the points of our drawing so that you can know what I'm referring to. So let's start by looking at the original rectangle, which I labeled as AFGB. We can mark one of the side lengths of the rectangle as X and the other one as being Y. So when we enlarge a side length by 20%, we'll have X plus 0.2X as the entire side length AC of the square, and the other side is enlarged by 50%, so we have y plus 0.5y as being the entire side length AE of the square. We want to find the area of the original rectangular garden. That would be x times y. That's why I made those two variables, because we want to find the area. So basically, we want to find a way to relate the product xy in order to find what that xy is. So one way we can do that, we see, is we have the area of triangle AEC. We know the area of that triangle is equal to the area of triangle AFB plus this green shaded area, which we know is 30. So we can set up an equation because we know the area of that triangle AEC is equal to base times height over two. Again, we established that the one side length is 1.5y, the other is 1.2x. And again, that would be AE times AC divided by 2, because that's the formula to find the area of a triangle. And we know that's equal to this red area, which is a, which is the side lengths AB times AF over 2, which again is equivalent to x times y divided by 2, plus 30. So now, one of the next things we can do, so from here we're just going to be simplifying. So one of our first simplifying steps, let's, do, let's multiply by 2 on both sides to get rid of this 1 half, and then this will become 60. So now, and I've also rewritten this 1.5y as 3 halves y and 1.2x as 6 fifths x in order for it to be easier for us to simplify. And then we have 3 halves y times 6 fifths x is equal to xy plus 60. So now we want to multiply 3 halves times 6 fifths in order to get 8 over 10xy is equal to xy plus 60. So now our next step is to subtract xy from both sides, which will give us 8 tenths xy is equal to 60. Now we're going to multiply by 10 eighths on both sides to get 600, to get xy is equal to 600 over 8. And that is equal to 75. So we found what we're looking for. We were looking for xy, the area of the original rectangular garden, and we found that that is 75. That is answer choice D. 
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.